Larry Zachonko. <laughs> All the recorders. <laughs> Is your character going to look for redemption from anybody over what she previously done, or is she not care? Oh, Gabrielle never not cares. <laughs> she always cares. So I think we can say that she she will be still very invested, if not more, with um, having a part in it. <laughs> she seems to relish the fact that she is this person tortured. Yeah. Will she become a large threat in season two, or is she sort of holding back because I guess she's being given a second chance? Um, well, as far as I'm concerned, I know she's being still accepted into the order. Um, because that's where she's left off in season one. She that they give her a second chance. Um, but I think I think people did really respond to her darker side. So I think she might maybe play with that a little bit more. Can't really say. Yeah. What is the been like for you to watch the fans for this show? Right. I mean, it's starting off very strong and it develops such a loyal fan base almost yeah. immediately. It's been really cool. Um, actually, it's really funny because um, I think Netflix posted uh, an image of Gabrielle like right when right when this, the premiere happened, and my mom was looking through the comments. And, and I mean, like Gabrielle's not. No, I know. Well, and Gabrielle's not the nicest person on the series. You know what I mean? Like she's not the hero, but. But my, I guess my mom kind of took it to heart, and she was like reading. She's like, "Can I swear here or no?" Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're like, "Oh, they're they're calling you really mean names. They're like calling you a bitch. Like they're calling you a bitch and blah blah." She's like, "I'm gonna respond to them. I'm gonna respond to them." I'm like, "Mom, don't respond. Like it's totally fine." I was like, "They're just like really invested, and you know they believe my character." And she's like, "Well, they should know that you're an actor. Like they should just know that it's a character." I was like, "It's okay, mom. Like it's all chill. Like it's fine." But yeah, my mom's very invested. For the fans. <laughs> What's been some of the more fun parts about playing such a villainous character? Right. Um, just like that, playing a villainous <laughs> character. Um, but I think with her, it's like it's more than just like her with her power. It's just like she does have this void in her life that she's trying to fill, and the order does give her a sense of purpose. So I think it goes much deeper to like I'm a torture you, but just the fact that like she. She was given a purpose and she wants to relish in it. It has been really, really fun. Um, and yeah, I guess the torture scenes are fun too. <laughs> Making them bleed and stuff. <laughs> and Gabrielle, too, is part of it that Brandon for quite a lot of the season. She had kind of her helper, basically. And yes. right at the end, she runs off. So are we going to see them sort of meet up again and see what happens? You know, because she's probably going to be a bit pissed off. I can't say that, unfortunately. Um, but she, I don't know. Will there be more interactions between the two of them? I cannot say. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that one I cannot say. I'm sorry? Since you couldn't say about the interactions, is she having a lot of interactions with this? Um, well, we just actually did a reading for the panel, and she has a lot of interactions with um, Vera because I feel like she's like trying to like like cuddle cozy up to her. You know what I mean? Um, and there's going to be some fun things just within the order, pretty much. I think. Yeah, that's all I can say. I'm like trying really hard. <laughs> can you tell I'm like filtering myself? I'm like, don't give more than you can. Yeah. You obviously were set at Belgrave University last season. Are we going to see an expanded universe a bit? Maybe other oh. orders and other universities? Oh. You know what? I don't know. But that would be a really cool idea. So not yet, I suppose. I guess not. So, you know, well. <laughs> I've only read the first two episodes, so I don't know much more than I'm actually giving you guys. <laughs> what was it that first attracted you to the project? Like, overall, what was the first time? Were you a fan of, like, the supernatural genre? Um, I've always been a Harry Potter fan, so I think as soon as I heard that magic was involved, I was like, I'm in. I am so in. 
Um, and yeah, like the fantasy elements and uh, especially the comedy. I think it's like cool to have like the horror mixed with the comedy and making people laugh. That's what I'm sure it breaks up the tension too because it's like you have that little bit of humor. Actually, yeah. Like yeah, absolutely. Will she be experiencing, will she be interacting with more types of new magic diseases? Spells. Yes, there's definitely different spells and definitely more magic coming. That's what I can definitely say. <laughs> and um, we'll see, saw them sort of dive a little bit into the sort of collective and consciousness and, you know, looking and um, listening to people who essentially were dead and sort of getting yes. their memories back. Is that going to be, because the fact that your character has killed so many people, right. is that going to have a repercussion in the second season at all? Because they're essentially, they're gone but not gone. Yeah. Um, not that I know of so far from the two episodes that I read, but maybe potentially more. Maybe they did this on purpose, just giving us the first two episodes so we don't say a lot. But uh, I have no idea. Is that something you'd like to see? Like, what the kind of outside For Gabrielle? Absolutely not. Because if she's she's hurt so many people, she doesn't want to hear back from them. You know? No. Absolutely not. <laughs> well, since you can't say much about it, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.